Today we're doing a product review and a demo for the Launch Elite version 2.0 Audi. Now, although it says Audi, it really is for vehicles under the Volkswagen Audi group. So you've got your VW, you've got your Audi, your Bugatti, your Seat, your Skoda, Lamborghini. Those are the vehicles covered by this device. And there's also a mall, which means you can purchase additional packages for additional vehicles. What do we have in the box? We've got the device itself. Nice looking device. It fits in the uh, palm of your two hands and it feels pretty good and sturdy. We've got two user manuals that you'll likely never use and you've got your 16 pin OBD2 connector. Now, right out of the box, why do I love this scanner? Well, for one, it's very budget friendly. Imagine getting a bi-directional scanner for less than $200. That's a great deal. And bi-directional is important because you can push info in, but pull info out, meaning you can do active tests, you can do resets, you can do ECU coding. You can do quite a bit with a budget friendly device like this compared to something else that's $200 that really only reads your, your trouble codes and you can't do any sort of bi-directional or active test. This is a game changer when it comes to European vehicles specifically, active tests and the bi-directional functionality is very, very important. Now let's do a little bit of housekeeping. First thing on the list you'll notice is a four inch full touch screen. It's super stable and super smooth. You'll notice that right away and we'll do a bit of a demo as well as well show it to you on a vehicle itself. It is also bi-directional as I said, so you can do active tests and you can take full control of the vehicle like doing a fuel test, window test, pump test, coolant test, etc. It also does advanced ECU coding and it has all the special functions, which means you can do resets for your oil changes, for your TPMS, etc. So lots and lots built into this here. Now, one thing people always ask, well, what are the reset functions or the special functions available with this? Lots, you can do oil change reset, you can do electronic parking brake resets, you can do battery management. So if you get a new battery and you need to register the new battery, you can do a DPF re regeneration, you can do throttle relearning, ABS bleeding, injector coding. It also comes with crank relearn and idle speed. So there's quite a few functionalities, especially for Volkswagen. This does have a lot packed into a very tiny scanner, but also very budget friendly for less than $200. Now, another really big benefit of this scanner is the upgrade. So it comes with lifetime free upgrade for the functionality of the scanner itself. So you can always go into the update section and you can update the software. So you always have the latest and the greatest software from launch. That's free. Most other advanced scanners will charge you two, $300 a year just to get that upgrade. So this having lifetime for free is an excellent, excellent option. So let's jump right in. We're gonna press the power button located right at the top. And now it's the typical launch screen. So you've got your diagnose, you've got your OBD2, your upgrade, your mall, and your settings. If we go to upgrade, when you first buy the scanner, you're gonna have upgrades. Right now it says zero upgradable software. That's because I've already done all of the upgrades. We'll press back and now we'll go to diagnose. And what you'll be presented with is an auto detect. So you can click on here once you're connected to your vehicle and it'll auto detect the vehicle and the VIN number. Or you can select the vehicle manually. And you'll see here, as I said, it right out of the box, it covers vehicles under the Volkswagen Audi group. And I'm going to scroll so you can see. And that's the end of the list. So even if I click on the American tab, you won't have anything because it doesn't support that right out of the box. But if that's something that you want, you can go to the mall, which will then allow you to purchase that for an American manufacturer. So for example, if I'm looking for General Motors, we're going to go American and we'll see here Chrysler Dodge Jeep, $78. We can purchase that and it tells you exactly what it's going to cover. So ECU coverage, transmission, memory seat, steering angle, etc. So if you're looking for uh, additional vehicles, and it actually tells you the, the vehicles themselves that are covered, which is really cool, actually. I haven't really seen this often. This is the place to go. So not only is this scanner covering a Volkswagen Audi group, but you can expand it. So a budget scanner can now be expanded so that you have additional functionality for other vehicles if you start working on other manufacturers. So for the European fans like me, let's look at them all when it comes to the European category. You've got Aston Martin, BMW, 
Ferrari, Fiat, Land Rover, McLaren, Maserati, Mercedes. We've got Porsche. Porsche's quite expensive at 117. Volvo, Sprinter. And so you've got a good list. There are American vehicles as well, just so people can see here. Chrysler, GM. There's also EV as well. Let's see what they've got coverage for that. No Tesla on here. Motorcycle. So we've got the BMW, Ducati, Harley, Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki. So we've got the main, main five. And that's it. So the mall does allow you to expand this coverage. You've got a 16 gigabyte memory in here. So there's ample room to save that software. Now, before we move into a demo where I plug this into an Audi with trouble codes, I want to let you know that this is the perfect bi-directional scanner for the at-home DIYer or the garage enthusiast who's just got a few vehicles that they're working on and they're maybe just starting out in the industry and they need something that's bi-directional and bi-directional is key. And so for under $200, this is the go-to product. I really like it because it's expandable. It allows you to purchase the package for any other vehicle that you're working on, but it also core focuses on the Volkswagen Audi group, which is the reason why you would purchase this product. Highly recommended, four inch touch screen. It's got a great warranty, lifetime updates, good budget scanner for under $200. Let's move to the demo. Moving on to the demonstration, I am plugging this into an Audi Q5. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this is not a Bluetooth model, and that's correct. This is a budget scanner, so you're not getting the Bluetooth dongle. However, I have seen that with a lot of these cabled uh, OBD scanners that the actual OBD plugin is usually really thick and I've seen complaints of people saying it doesn't fit into the OBD 16 pin socket. This is a very slim version of that OBD socket so I really like this. Good job launch. Did a good job with making sure this fits in every single vehicle. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the vehicle and we're going to do a scan. Now as soon as I plugged it in it picked up the VIN number and now it's doing a software or a firmware update. You'll see now it's scanning for the VIN number. And you'll see right away it picks up the VIN number of the vehicle. And interestingly enough, it didn't give me an option as to what it is I wanted to do with the vehicle. Instead, it jumped right into diagnostics. So it's doing a health report right now. It's going to go through each of the modules and it's going to tell us where or if we have any fault codes. And as you can see, we do have fault codes already coming up. So we're going to let this finish scanning and then we're going to go through it one by one to show you the level of depth and the level of detail that we're getting through this budget scanner. So now that's completed, it actually puts together a very nice report, shows that it's an Audi Q5. And if you had put in the shop name and the address, it would show up here as well. It shows you when you did the diagnostic report and then it goes through each module. So you'll see here engine electronics. You have the transmission electronics, brake electronics, and so you'll see here that this car has quite a bit of codes or faults that are coming up. So everything else here is normal. And so you can share that report or you can go into the module itself. So let's go into the engine electronics and it shows you I've got a P04-2000 and that's the catalyst system. Efficiency below threshold. So this is probably an oxygen sensor or something to do with the CAT, catalytic converter. What if we go into brake electronics? Tire pressure warning, okay? What if we go to access start? Key two, so most likely the battery is dead in the key. Climate control, right air flap motor, left footwell motor, left footwell flap motor, and the recirculation. So you'll see here, it's quite detailed and it even tells you that the there's a mechanical failure or the limit is exceeded. What about electronics? The left low beam headlamp, there's a fault. And yes, the left bulb is burnt out. So it is quite detailed for a budget scanner and I'm very happy with what it's pulling here. When you press back on that report, it then pulls up all of the issues on one page. And I can go into each fault. So if I click on the climate control fault, It'll communicate and it'll give you a little bit more information. It'll actually show you the part number, the hardware part number, a description, and the coding. So that's really cool, actually, to see it give you all of this information, including the part number. Uh, that's very handy for those DIYers at home in the garage who don't have access to shop software. 
So earlier we weren't connected to the vehicle and so we couldn't click on the OBD2 button, but we're gonna do that now. And what this is gonna allow you to do is jump into the bi-directional active tests, the live data, the freeze frames, and allow you to graph live data for things that uh, you're looking to diagnose. So what, what it's gonna do now is identify the vehicle and the protocol, we're gonna hit enter. And then from here, you can see, for those that are doing emissions, you've got your IM readiness, you've got your live data, your freeze frames, and then you can do your onboard testing, control operation of onboard components or systems, so that's your active tests. So let's do a live data example. We're gonna go in here and you're gonna get a list of all the items that you can uh, do live data for on this vehicle. So we've got things like the accelerator position, let's do ambient air temperature, let's do the catalyst temperature, and let's do the engine coolant temperature along with the fuel rail pressure, and hit OK. And now you're presented with that data. So as you can see, the ambient air temperature is 18, You've got the catalyst temperature, engine coolant temperature, and the fuel rail pressure. And we can click into a graph where it'll then graph it for you and show you that if the vehicle was on, this graph would be moving, the temperature would be getting warmer, but it goes to show you that this budget scanner is capable of graphing live data, and this is really important for those DIYers. Now I'd like to show you how you run the active tests as well as the special function resets. So once you go into the diagnostics tab, you'll actually, instead of doing the auto detect, you'll hit the vehicle that you're using. So we're going to click Audi and hit OK. And from there, you'll get to the health report system scan, and then you have system selection and special function. So system selection is going to allow you to go into the module and do active tests, special function. Well, this is for brake resets, uh, battery management. So you'll see here that some of the options are uh, service reset, battery matching, steering angle learning, head lamp adjustment, trailer matching, etc. So here's a long list. And uh, we'll go back and let's do a system scan. We'll do system scan again. Once your system scan is complete, you'll go into the item that you're looking for. So let's, for example, take driver door electronics so we're going to hit okay we're going to do actuation test okay we're going to read by list and now it's saying lowering the window regulator or testing the mirror heating function or raising the window regulator so let's do lowering the window regulator as well as raising and you're going to hear the window actually go down and go up so we're actually going to select one at a time hit okay start And you heard that window go down. So we're going to hit stop and go back. And now we're going to raise the window. Press OK. Start. Next. And the window goes up. And these are the active tests I've been talking about with regards to a budget scanner, sub $200, being able to do bi-directional and active tests. This is a game changer when it comes to DIY or the enthusiast at home who needs that functionality. And that puts a wrap to the demo of the launch Elite 2.0 on the Volkswagen Audi Group product. And so this is an excellent scanner for the DIYer or the home enthusiast. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. It's capable of doing the diagnostic. It's capable of doing active tests, reading live data, graphing of live data. And so it is an excellent budget-friendly scanner. The one drawback to it is that it does not include the other vehicles outside of the Volkswagen Audi group. And so if you have other vehicles, I would recommend looking at other products that have that built in without you having to pay the additional fee in the mall where they sell that subscription.